Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to Jarburg. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things I did off camera. First and foremost, I did farm up 180,000 runes. I know that's a lot. You don't have to do the same, but I went ahead and did that so I can put one stat into Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex. I also went ahead and put on a Cerulean Flask. I reallocated my flasks, and that is all I did. Let's go ahead and level up. Put one into Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex. We're going to try to get these up to 30. Once we do, we'll go back to putting some more into, I believe it was Faith. Yep, we need a little bit more into Faith. Let's put a marker down. We're going to put a marker right here. Here. And then one right here. Here. And then lastly, up here. We're going to hop on Torrent before we start heading to these markers. We're going to pull out our bow. We're going to hit these hot air balloon things. I think they look really cool. They'll give us a Golden Ruin 6. By the way, I did use all my Golden Runes to be able to get some more runes to level up. I also went ahead and used the Godric the Grafted soul as well soul or remembrance whatever i think it's a it's called a remembrance but i used that to get some runes we want to come around this rune right here once we do we'll be over by this ruined encampment Take out these guys real fast. Be careful, there is a dog over here. Grab some cuckoo glint stones. And then right here, I want to smack this. This is going to open up a pathway. We're going to get the, I think it's fingers heirloom. The two fingers heirloom, something like that. Yeah, two fingers heirloom. And then we're going to get a Shabriri grape. We're going to be giving that to Hyetta in just a moment. First, we want to take this guy out. And then we can hop down right over here. Hop down again. Grab ourselves a Golden Rune 3. We don't even have to hop on Torrent. We're just going right over here. Just be very careful. There's a lobster... Shrimp, prawn, whatever you want to call it thing. They are pretty difficult. At least for me, I find them difficult. Let's talk to Hayeta and give her a Shabriri grape. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, 
I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you... seem... somehow... firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Let's go ahead and get rid of this marker. We're going to start heading to the third marker. I didn't realize that the first marker was still up. Over here, there's a couple of dogs. If we come up just here, we can get ourselves a few mushrooms. Inside there is a teleporter. It'll take us to the Rhea Lucaria Academy. We don't need that. Go ahead and light this grace. Get rid of the third marker. And then we're gonna head straight east from the grace and then down south. Be careful, there's these little vulgar guys. And there's also some poisonous clumps that you can run over. So be careful for that. Another vulgar guy. Grab this sombering smithing stone too. You can go up the right path, but we want to go up the left path. This is going to bring us to the catacombs. Make sure that they're not following us. We'll sit at this grace. Go ahead and head down. We want to face this way. There's going to be an opening we want to roll into. That way we can get ourselves a Grave Glove Wart 2. Send the elevator just up, or send the elevator back up. So that if you die, you can just take the elevator right back down. You want to come over here. Over here, we'll pick up some root resin. Go ahead and activate the summoning pool. Then over here, there's a stronger guy or imp. They take a few more hits to stagger. Grab some grave, grave glove work too. You see an imp pathing at the back there. There's one up top that we want to drop down. the trap against him even though I got hit by it didn't hurt too much but still try not to get hit by the trap
And then over here, we're going to two-hand our weapon. There's a guy sleeping just under here. Grab some Grave Glove Wart 3. Up top we have another one of those Omen guys. We want to get his attention. We have these imps up top that are going to be throwing magic pots at us. And then we want to come back down here anyways to pick up a rune arc. Right here we're going to use a stone sword key. Be careful we have another imp up top. I know I keep calling them gargoyles but they are imps apparently. Even though they look like gargoyles. At least to me they do. Grab the Nox Mirror Helm. Right here we have a few, or well, a couple, not a few, but a couple imps. Take him down. And then we have one more that's gonna attack us. Grab ourselves some Grave Glove Wart. We're going to be going in there in just a moment, but before we do, let's go ahead and get the attention of this imp. Maybe. And then just grab this stuff and there's going to be another imp that wants to attack us. Get the imp on the right attention first. And then the imp on the left this is going to be the one with a great sword. So he's going to be a little harder to take out. There's another one up top. We'll just let him come down. Might as well. Grab the scythe, and then we're going to uh, drop down right here. We're going to two-hand our weapon. And down there, we can kind of make out an enemy. Drop down. Crouch. Get a backstab on him. Grab 
ourselves some ghost grave gro ugh. ghost gray or er, oh my goodness ghost glove wart three right here we have another omen you let them pass by real fast get another backstab Flask. Get a prattling pate. Wonderful. Some hefty beast bones and grave glove wart three. And that is a mouthful. Tell you what. Down the way there. You can see an enemy tracking back towards us or pathing, whatever. They do have a chance to drop their weapons, by the way. to the top get a backstab speaking of weapons we get the warped axe from him this is a random drop, not guaranteed. Grab the page ashes. And then we have another imp. Pull the lever. Grab old fang. Let's go ahead and use our Cerulean Flask. And then we can take it out of our quick slots here. And then we will drink our Wondrous Flask and summon in Oleg as soon as we get into the boss arena. Boss is pretty easy. Even though Oleg is getting his ass kicked. Lemon squeezy. We get the Caden Cell Sword Ashes. Go ahead and pick up some root resin. And then instead of going to the cliff bottom catacombs, we're gonna fast travel to the Liernia Highway North. Let's sit at this grace. We're going to go to our flasks. Reallocate our flasks, put it back into our crimson. And then I want to get rid of this marker. Put one down right here. Here. And then right here. Here. And then lastly, right there. Come up to the top. The only reason I wanted to do that is because up here we're going to have a ton of enemies and we won't be able to get into our map. 
when we're in combat. Get rid of that marker. Grab ourselves the Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook 3. Say that three times fast. And then we get the Carrion Glint Blade Staff. We can head back down. This guy is going to die just because he keeps trying to hit me. Hop on Torrent. And we're just going to backtrack a little bit here. Instead of going up towards where the grace is, we're going to come down over here. These enemies will be fighting. So they'll be a little distracted while we can grab some items. Just be careful for the troll. He's the most dangerous out of them all. We're going to hug the cliff side here. Step away from the scarab, it does explode. But we get a sombering smithing stone too. There's a spirit spring right there, we're not even gonna bother with it. We're just gonna come up here to the second marker. Grab the grace. You can see Hyetta over here. We can't do anything for her just yet. We have to get another Shabriri Grape, which will be a little later into the walkthrough. And we'll come back here and give that Shabriri Grape to her. And that will progress her quest. We're going to head east. To the third marker. Go ahead and drink a wondrous flask. And then in just a moment, we'll summon in Oleg. Let's see where he spawned at. Just over here. Oleg will keep the skeletons distracted while we kill the Tibia Mariner, or at least fight him. Maybe he'll keep him distracted. go. Tibia Mariner is down. We get Death Root and the Skeletal Bandit Ashes for killing him. Or it. Whatever. We're gonna grab some Trina Lily. Or Trina's Lily. Pick up a few Blood Roses. Smithing Stone 3. And then over here, we have somewhat of a tough battle. It can be a little tough. Hopefully we don't die.
There we go. So we get the Dragon Colt prayer book from this knight. He also has a chance to drop all his armor, his great sword, and his shield. If you want to farm all that stuff up, you can. His shield is actually pretty good. We're going to come up here to the artist shack. Light this grace. Grab the resurrection painting. And then right over here, we're going to get a smithing stone four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the marker by the shack. And then we can head down back where the night was. Just backtracking just a little bit here. Some crystal bud there. Just over here, we're going to have some gravestones. Be really careful. This is a tricky place to get down. If we drop right here and then over here, right here 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 and right here I would not advise jumping just kind of walk and drop take your time if you have to but try not to fall because you will die get a smithing stone three come over to this grace we're going to light it And then if we head south, we'll get these graves where they'll have a bunch of golden runes. Good stuff. Got that all looted. Now it's time to loot Jarberg. Before we go loot in Jarberg, we want to talk to this NPC just over here. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us Jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Potentate or not, come back and visit me. When you can. So we're going to have to reload the area a few times by fast traveling back and forth to the Grace. But we'll do that in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and loot all of Jarberg. We're going to get a ritual pot. I believe this is our first ritual pot. It allows us to make stronger um, throwing pots. So we get two of them. By the way, this is a great place to come to if you ever need some crafting material. Get ourselves a cracked pot.
you can just keep reloading the area and looting it. All good stuff. Good, good stuff. Get one more cracked pot and then inside that house there, we're gonna get another cracked pot and then a living jar shard. Grab that crystal bud. I'm just looting all of this stuff. You don't have to. I just love to be stocked up on crafting material just in case I ever need it. Now that we've looted everything, let's go ahead and fast travel to Jarburg. We're going to go talk to the JAR NPC again. Oh, hello again, cuz. I'm happy you came back. I have good tidings for you, cuz. Have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village? I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them, and they said you'd be very welcome. Go on, cuz. You really should pick some of our flowers. Who knows? They might be of some use. So he even says like, hey, go uh, pick these flowers and whatnot. Uh, some of them will respawn. Some of them will not. They're just one offs like the ones that were over here. But there's a lot that you can come through and actually pick to um, accumulate some crafting material. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Jarburg one more time. Ah, oh, hello again. Say, cuz, have you met Uncle Alexander? He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said, the path of champions must be trod alone. So heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past. And the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander. And I'll have to leave the village to become a champion. And that is all the dialogue we can get for this NPC at the moment. Now, I thought about ending the video in Jarburg, but I think it would be better if I came up to the artist shack and ended the video. Because in the next video, we're going to be going all through this area. This is going to be up here one of the harder areas to get through. I'm debating on if I should do it now or wait till later. We'll, we'll have to see, but I'm pretty sure we'll go through here. We'll, we'll see. For now, let's go ahead and go over to the artist shack. I'll see everybody over there. Okay, I think right about... Eh, trying to find a good spot to end the video. Maybe right here. Get a good vista of the Rhea Lucaria Academy. So with all that being said, I want to start with telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It does mean the most to me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, 
please subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.